All right, everyone. So I just got back from the pharmacy, just picked up the one milligram Ozempic prescription. Uh, let's take a look at what it costs. So this specific prescription was $253.88. So this pay is without uh, having insurance coverage. And this is, I'm also in Canada, right? So it only, it, it, it's a little bit lower of a price than I've seen people pay uh, in the U.S. Um, I've seen people pay from anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 for a prescription, which is insane. I don't know how anybody can afford that, but I guess if you if you need it, right, you need it for your health, you need it to stay alive, you're, you know, you're going to willing to pay whatever, whatever you need to pay. So here you have your 0.25 slash 0.5 dose of uh, Ozempic. And over here we have our, our one milligram dose. So this pen is double the size of this one. And it actually comes with, uh, so this one has six disposable needles and this one has four. So these actually cost the same price. I thought that, you know, because this box is double the size that, you know, it was going to be double the price, but yeah, it came in at the same price as, as this one. So I am going to crack this open and take a look. So pop open the pull tab, pull out the instructions. Oh, here are the needles. Get that open. And so here you have your four needles. You have your pen here. Pretty much the same as the uh, 0.25 and the 0.5 pen. They're uh, pretty much everything is identical except for the uh, the number of needles that you get. So yeah, everything is it's a bigger package. So everything is pretty much the same. So I okay, guys, now I'm ready to inject uh, the Ozempic. So since this is a new pen, I'm kind of gonna go over the steps to get it ready to use for uh, a first time. So, so just took the, the cap off the pen. First thing you want to look for is that the medication is actually clear, which it is. So now I'm going to take one of the needles. Let's put this down. I'm just going to rip that off the backing of it. And then you twist it onto the pen. Once you do that top of it, pull right off. And then you have a another cap on top of the actual needle that you want to pull off. So what is recommended is that prior to your first dose, whenever you're using a pen for the first time, that you want to check the flow of it. What you would do is you go to the zero and then you would go to the very next dial down and press the button. And when you do that, it's going to show a drop of uh, Ozempic on the needle. Well, this one is already done, right? This is, uh, this is already prime. The flow is already there. Uh, so there's no, no need to actually, you know, do the manual check for the flow uh, cause we're already ready to go. So next thing I'm going to do, just, I'm just going to dial this up. To one. You see there, I'm all, uh, I'm at one. Now I'm just gonna prep, prep the area to where I'm gonna inject it. So you can do it at your shoulders, you can do it in your stomach, or you can go to your thighs. Uh, sometimes they say that injecting in your stomach, uh, people have a lot of, you know, bad side effects. Um, I've tried it in my arm and I also tried it in my stomach. Uh, when my arm, when I did it in my arm, I felt like I didn't even know if <laughs> medication was working. Uh, but when I moved over to the stomach, like I actually had results. I don't know if that's, you know, if that's accurate, if it was actually not working because I injected it there or, or not. Uh, it was primarily with that 0 0.25 dose. So I didn't have a lot of uh, success or I even felt like it was working at that, at that dosage. So that could have, uh, that could have all been connected. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to uh, inject myself in my stomach. Um, so I have an alcohol pad here. I'm just going to clean in the area. I'm just going to clean the area right here. Allow that to dry for a few seconds. I'm just going to like grab my stomach, pierce the skin with the needle. 
and then press and hold. I like to do it for, I like to count to 15. I think the recommended time is like six seconds, but I always just, uh, just wait, count to 15 to make sure everything has been um, injected. All right, now that that's been injected, I'm just going to dispose of the needle. So I'm gonna put the cap uh, back on. I'm going to place the other cap on and rotate off the needle. Cap back on and put it back in the packaging and I'm gonna place it in the fridge. So it's, it's literally that simple, that easy uh, to, you know, prime your pen, make sure it's ready, inject the dosage, and uh, that's it. It's a fairly painless process. The needle is very small, uh, so literally in and out, and get it done in no time. So uh, like I said, this is my first time taking the one milligram. We'll see if there are any side effects. Hopefully not. My wife started taking one milligram uh, last week. She's definitely found that the medication is working more uh, at this dosage. She has not been hungry at all. Like she'll her mind will think that she's hungry and she'll take like a bite of something and can't even eat anymore. Uh, or she'll, the thought of having food will just uh, completely like make her sick to where she doesn't even want to, uh, even want to eat. So, um, we'll see, we'll see how this works for me. I will keep everyone updated uh, and I will continue to post my progress videos. Uh, if this video was beneficial in any way, don't forget to smash that like button. Also comment, subscribe, uh, and let me know how your journey is going on Azimpic. And I will see you guys in the next video.